Hello and welcome Pisces. This is your November 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest, Jane Arnold. Hello. This is the 12th video we're recording and we feel very geriatric. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because we've been sitting for a long time. On average, we notice that the videos are about 15 minutes long, 40 minutes long. You can imagine how long we have sat here. Yeah. So my ass is numb. <laughs> so the point that I just noticed is you kind of very old people. Oh, oh. <laughs> not knocking old people. I'm 56. I'm getting there. <laughs> right? Point is, <laughs> Pisces, this is your overall uh, your general reading. And if you want to have a personal reading, a bit more in-depth private reading, personal reading, um, you can have a reading with either Jane or myself. The information is in the description box below and if you can't decide put the fucking money in the book i suppose <laughs> right? point is if you want to so that the idea is you know if you want to have a reading that's perfectly fine what we do here we will look into the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look into your emotional core see if there's love and healing coming in um, and then lastly we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of november for the sign of pisces i'm going to tell you something we are both Pisces. Yeah. And it's always interesting when you hear what the guides have to say, if that makes sense, you know. And sometimes, because we're recording all these videos one after the other, I have to re-watch the video to remember what the guides actually said. <laughs> Quite interesting. Anyway, here's the overall energy for the month of November for us Pisces. Pisces, we have play, steady progress, and I was told to turn the third card which is new partner as well. So um, first one, play, set aside work for a while, doing too much work, too drained. We had a little chat at the very beginning about this, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Um, it's now isn't the time to keep going and going and going. It's There's a life out there as well. Just remember that. Have a little bit of fun. Bring the fun back in. Don't worry how the work's going to come, how the money's going to come. It will it's the universe saying this is life as well you need to do some of that you can't be all work and no play makes jack a dull boy i'm not saying any jacks out there yeah. <laughs> put that out there for a second you, you, you have to be really careful everybody's offended these days yes. you know and also we like jack i i i um, <laughs> have a bit of a foul mouth you know, every now and then so you know but i will not start a reading with apologies <laughs> you know if that makes sense now i want to just mention this i don't know if you're down here i just wanted to put it nope, in put it, so we'll put it in okay when you talked about play yes when i looked into child psychology uh, a long time ago um anything and everything under the sun had always been associated with science mm -hmm. with, 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 with star science zodiacs and the sign that needs play the most is the sign of the dreamer which is Pisces, oh, and no. they, there's a, a, a um, way back in the days, probably 1940s or whatever, there was a um, Russian scientist who noticed that the people he worked with children, and the, the, the children that had, the, they had normally had the most invisible friends were all Pisces. Oh, right? So the point is, being playful, taking time out just to do something that is creative, cannot be underestimated because the soul suffers if the soul doesn't answer its traits. Just comes up here, just thought before, because I would have forgotten it. Yeah. I just thought no, I'm going to interject myself here. Right? Yeah, because it just goes on to the last little bit I was going to say on that card, which it will then lift your energy, lift your vibrations and get you ready for where you need to be. Um, you are making steady progress sometimes we feel that we're not we feel you know things have gone stagnated i don't know about you but we ha i have no patience <laughs> no. and i think it's a it's a it's a, it's a pisces thing so i've noticed you so, have less than i do yeah, yeah. i have more than you okay. <laughs> but the point is i also feel that that, that, yes. that not being super patient yeah. is one of our downsides yeah it's certainly mine a little bit. i can be a little bit <laughs> yeah. impatient at times but, but we are making progress we are getting there yeah. and we need to acknowledge that um, and I was told finally I needed another card. Um, there may well be somebody popping in your life, new partner. This can be a work partner, or this can be somebody that's. Um, oh, don't jinx it now. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> well, I've got the black one. 
Um, <laughs> this can be somebody that's coming into your life. Keep your eyes open because this can be somebody that um, they will either say something or bring something into your life that's going to be needed. So for Pisces out there that need somebody to come in and say something, be an influence in one way or, or another, keep your eye out because they're going to pop in. Okay. okay. And when it comes to you, uh, thank you. When it comes to your emotional core, you have the North Node. Now the North Node is, well, it is seen as the future, but it is also the now. So there's a South Node and the North Node. If they ever were to meet, it would take 26,000 years. Mm -hmm. So in astrology, the belief is that the South Node is your karmic node and the North Node is everything you have to learn while you're here, right? And so the point is, the saying everything went south comes from the fact that it was depicted back in the day, in ancient times, by a head and a tail of a snake or a dragon, right? So, so the south node is miles away from the north node. So what the guides are saying, first and foremost to you is, don't stay in the past. Don't think about the shit that happened, that, that went down in the past. You're not living there anymore. You're not that person anymore. And here's what I'm getting. There will be people that mean well, that's always a problem. There's a lot of people that, <laughs> you know, people mean well. But people who have known you for a couple of years, let's just say, and then they just pop up every now and then, they assume they talk to the old you. Mm. And you may no longer, and very likely won't be, um, the energy that you were years ago. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we are the 12th sign, the last sign in the wheel. But the number 12, 1 and 2 is 3. 3 is the number of progression. We are not very good with standing still at all. Hence, I have no patience. Right? Obviously, I, I, I'm here to learn it, I get that. But the point is, it's also in my nature to always be on the go. Right? So that nomadic energy, we talked about the nomadic energy that is very much Aquarian. And yet, we the sign before, uh, we the sign after Aquarius. And because Aquarius is an air sign but it's depicted with water, aqua um, and we are the following sign so this nomadic energy this i, I don't want to stay here unless there's something happening mm -hmm. is pretty much a piscean trait and imprint right the point is your projection because you have the number three progression has to be going forward while it is nice to be in the now right which is the most important one because you make your decisions from here um, but if you have already sounds a bit wrong long-term plans whatever that means or you feel like this is what i really want to do if you have a bucket list for instance right then don't just say like oh maybe one day because that's where we go wrong right so if you already understand that you want to be somewhere else do something else there's there, there will never be an opportune moment because life is a journey you don't just get there because you put a bloody date in the calendar so what i'm getting here strongly is for you to just go with what you feel and do just that right without and you said that earlier you said you know don't think about the money coming in or not coming in it's exactly yeah. what this is mm -hmm. right as energetically speaking <clears throat> but the point is because you have a head and a tail of a dragon the head and a tail of a snake and there's a division between the two which there isn't if you just take the people out that see it that way right um you don't have to always be balanced you can achieve whatever it is you want to achieve even when you're not in the best place Right? You're still Pisces, right? You, you, you know, I mean, you know, speaking about Pisceans, which we all are here, um, you can be super sensitive and you still kick ass, right? And also when it comes to astrology, when you, I mean, let's just look at, at, at what is in the stars. For the next at least decade, there is no stopping us. Not all of these things will be positive, but energetically speaking, Piscean has a massive energy for the next decade, for literally the next, another decade where um, whatever we decide to do and we follow it through, it will very likely happen. Quite a, quite a powerful thing. It can put you under pressure because you don't really settle in there. Right? It's pros and cons. Everything is pros and cons because there's always energy that is more than just one-sided. Yeah. I get that. But the point here is what the guides are saying to you is because you have the number seven, as a, a number 34 here, if you want to be seven, which is about balance. Right? So just balance what you want to balance, but don't block it. Really, really important, right? So um, with regards to your emotional core, you're looking for balance and harmony, and yet at the same time, 
you know, there's a lot of changes that are coming your way and you will just be fine and do exactly what you want to do. What that means is you can, and you know, you have no partner here and Piscean energy is very much about one person. It doesn't mean there are, there, there are some, there are no wild Pisces out there who don't give a shit who they hang, to who they shack, right? <laughs> you know, to be a bit blunt here, you understand that? that, that, that there's, not, there's no judgment, the universe doesn't judge. Right? The point is, in the imprint of Pisces, if you find your person, you will be the most loyal ever, if that makes sense. Therefore, they have to deserve you too. That's what I'm getting here. Is to understand that, right? So if you can prioritize yourself, understand how awesome you are, right? Which is one of my mantras. I wake up in the morning, shut my head off. I'm awesome, <laughs> and it cracks me up. It's not ego. It just cracks me up. Um, and I'm getting this here uh, because if it works for me as a Piscean, it will very likely work for you. Okay. Um, looks like that's all we got, isn't it? Well, we started with the Oberon. Oberon. The what's coming up opportunity. Oh yeah. Sorry. Now, before we talk, don't you? <laughs> this is the 12th video we're recording. We're completely fried. <laughs> yes. Before we look at opportunities, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to stop the video there. <laughs> um, and I would have said, when someone then reminded me what happened to your opportunities, I only work here. Anyway, uh, we will look at the opportunities. Before we do, I just wanted to let you know that there's a 10% off offer just in November, just for my viewers, if that makes sense, it's already on the screen, where if you are interested in an astrology report, you know, sort of your imprints, you know, where are you, where, where are, which one, which is your strength, what is your strength, where are your difficulties in life, um, that's what um, your birth chart is about. If you want an astrology report, which is personalized, so I'm sitting with it for about three to five days to see which part are really you, if that makes sense, so this goes into your your, your element, your mode, your sign, the moon phase you were born under, tons of stuff. Um, you can get that all now this month for 10% off. And the reason why I mentioned the first place is because astrology reports are really helpful and they are the sort of the gift that keep giving because you can reread it and then realize, oh yeah, that, that is really helpful. Um, and at the same time, they become quite popular usually um, around Christmas. So I thought if I give a special offer in November, and you understand that it takes me three to five days to create it, the earlier you book it, the, the better or the more secure it is that you get it by Christmas. Okay, that's just that. And now we're looking at the opportunities. Esther will send themselves to you in the month of November 2023 for the sign of the dreamer Pisces. And we look at your card that's come out. Again, your Again. partner. Now we're talking. New partner, and I sat shuffling nice and quietly while Thomas was working. New partner and energy work we have here. Um, the chance meeting, somebody coming in, the opportunity there, they're reinforcing that for you. So I did have a look at the card next to it to see if there was going to be a love card there. There isn't, yeah, yeah. but that yeah, doesn't mean it won't be. Yeah, but also um, I'm messing to a certain extent yeah. because I learned, and, and it's a really important thing for you all to know, everybody's looking for connection. Yeah. But the moment you, you ask for it out of want, it is usually not forthcoming. Yeah. And it's just, so I'm messing a lot about these yeah. things, um, but um, it probably gives the wrong uh, message here. It is important. Whatever is for you will not pass you by. Yeah. Right? So just to, to understand that. You so know? If it's meant to yeah. come in. Absolutely. They will come Absolutely. in. Absolutely. But there's right. definitely, um, pay attention, there's definitely somebody that's going to be around for a reason, with a message, with something to say, something to do. Oh, yeah, could be a love life for some as well. Um, energy work, because it, there's the electrical, the energy, the focus that's going with this as well. So it seems to be there's a lot of energy being brought to this chance meeting, this new partnership, whatever it's going to be. So yes, opportunity. And then we're in the 11th month as yeah. well, the 11th oh, number. Yeah. So it just seems to be it's having another little whammy there. Um, what do you desire? Aww. So what do you desire? Choices, decisions on top of that as well. So just really think about what it is that you want, who it is that you'd want, put those thoughts and feelings out there for November. And as we said, the universe will bring you what it is that you're meant to have. Thank you. And also, November, 
by default has been classified uh, a couple of years ago as a suicide bonus. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of people that tend to give up around that time. Yeah. So I had planned to record 30 episodes one a day uh, just to try to empower you. Um, didn't quite get there, but I got to eight. So you will notice when you actually subscribe or come back to the channel, um, for the first eight days at least, there is episodes about what you can do to higher your vibration kind of stuff. Just want to mention this um, because, you know, didn't want to record it from nothing if that makes sense, right? Didn't quite get to the 30. <laughs> but um, it's powerful nonetheless, and I recorded that deliberately because of sometimes the energy of November, while it's a super strong month with the number 11. Um, some people that are not feeling well, it has the other, can have the other effect for them, which scientists link to the fact that sunlight is the at its lowest. Yeah. If that makes sense, right? So, yeah. Um, Can I just add sure. to that then, Thomas? Sure. This, this person that's around that's going to be important that mm -hmm. may have a message for you. Mm -hmm. That that just kept coming back in my mind as you were talking about suicide month, etc. Yeah. So know that there is going to be somebody around, somebody that will either have a message for you, can be important for you. If that's how you feel, there will be somebody there. There is always somebody yeah. there, somebody around. Okay. And also as an imprint. It's just an imprint. Obviously, people are all different. Yeah. And and life turns you into a different version of what you had planned to be as well. Yeah. But the imprint of Pisces is the imprint of progression, not the imprint of giving up. Yeah. So now that doesn't necessarily mean you know it's written in stone, but by default, Pisces is not one of the signs that struggles an awful lot with depression when it comes to looking at the signs. When you look at the signs, the, the signs very much of um associated with, weird term, with depression are Taurus, um, Libra to, to, to a certain extent, and Cancer. Because these three signs, to give them a bit of help, have a special alignment with the universe or from the universe that nobody else has. So um, Taurus and Libra are governed by Venus and in the universe there is an energy called the Pentagon of Venus that helps that sign along that only responds to Taurus and Libra. And because the way the constellation of Cancer works, um, wherever Cancer is, you can sort of tell that the moon oftentimes stays below it. So if you if you did draw a line, there's a good chance, uh, eight times of 10, that when you just draw a straight line from your constellation of, or, or, uh, of Cancer, you hit the moon. So the point is, these are all very much um, supported signs. But the reason why all the other signs, including ours, doesn't have a special alignment is because, it sounds a bit wrong, we don't need it. We are not a sign that is all that prone. If you are, you have to look at when did that occur? It's very likely man-made, right? So it's very likely a trauma response that gets you there, not an imprint. Okay? Just want to say that. Right? Um, that's all. We really got right so remember if you like my work you can buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas the last thing i want to say is that in order to, to to get us both into the shot if that makes sense um i had to put the phone quite a bit away because at the moment i injured my leg and so i have to sort of stretch my leg out which means the microphone is now further away so if you can't hear a thing, don't complain, just higher the volume. <laughs> you know, it's, not, it's not something that we, we can do about it, but we had to project a, a, a little bit, if that makes sense. Um, so it's not personal, we're not trying to, 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 to record difficult videos here. Um, this is literally because I have problems with my leg and the longer I sit, the more it hurts, it's still quite swollen. And so therefore I needed some space. If that makes sense, right? Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages. In any case, that's all we got, right? Have a lovely month. And remember, on this channel, there's a new moon and a, and a full moon reading. And uh, very likely, there will be um, retrogradation videos. Whatever is happening uh, in November will be on the channel. So it would be awesome if you just like, subscribed, and share. Okay? Shane, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. It. And um, see you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.